Hey, good afternoon. Uh, Greg Aldrich here, Research Associate Professor at Kansas State University. We've just concluded a week-long short course with uh, the American College of Veterinary Nutritionists, and uh, it was underwritten by our friends at Hills Pet Nutrition. Uh, the gist of the course was to provide veterinary nutritionists, and these are folks that are uh, trained doctors in veterinary medicine from universities around the country that are also uh, studying nutrition, uh, typically more for a clinical nutrition practice, and uh, some of them will soon be sitting for their boards in clinical nutrition. As well as, we also had a handful of folks that are veterinary technicians. These are the people that are working with pets in the home or at the clinic directly, providing guidance on nutrition support for animals that are under their hospital care. Uh, during the course, we covered a wide range of topics, but really the, the gist of it was to give them a peek behind the curtain, as it were, of what goes on in the process of making commercial pet foods. That'd be foods that are extruded, baked, or canned, that would be sold through both the veterinary channel as prescription diets, but also those that are sold over the counter. And so what we tried to provide the participants with uh, is an overview of the ingredients that we have available to us in the commercial pet food industry, uh, how those are processed, some of the nutrient composition and the such. And then we uh, help them see how those come together in a formulated food and uh, how it was processed through things like extrusion and how it was utilized or how those ingredient choices affected baking um, and also uh, how we uh, look at various combinations of ingredients when we're looking at canned foods. So uh, each of the participants had a full range of experiences hands-on operating and seeing how those machines worked in extrusion, baking, and canning as well as doing some hands-on formulation. Uh, we also covered a wide array of topics uh, from Regulation, Food Safety Modernization Act to PCQI training. And then we capped it off here today on Friday the, in the afternoon to visit a little bit about uh, nutrition controversies. So the idea was to have a dialogue or a discussion with these folks uh, as it relates to their clinical practices and some of the nutrition questions that they might get asked and how we from the pet food industry side of the equation might be able to help address those in regards to safety, nutrition, overall efficacy, and to help them understand where the pet food trade would uh, participate. So thank you.